Hey family, so I'm back from my little vacation or whatnot. I'm gonna do a little reading for you guys, the full moon and Gemini energy, okay? This is actually Gemini energy right here at the top of the deck. All right, so two of wands, so some of you guys will be making a decision about something. Hold on a second. All right, yeah, some of you guys could be making a decision about something. Adjustments could be required here. So you're adjusting something, you're making adjustments. Some of you guys could be um, designers. Like, um, maybe you are thinking about, uh, I don't know, like cutting up a t-shirt or like you're making adjustments to a shirt. Or you could be like changing your outfits a lot, all right? This is like... I don't know if this is important or not, but it could be symbolic. Like maybe you're you're changing energies, you're shifting. You could be a shapeshifter, okay? You could be adjusting some sort of energy. And I feel like it's because you could have some sort of tie to someone here. So maybe you're trying to break a tie. I feel like you're trying to break a cord. This could be with a friendship group. So I left this here actually before I left my daughter. I woke up out my sleep from this weird ass dream that i had that i'm gonna um go into more detail on um youtube so there's a cob in here all right that is being broken apart some of you guys you could have been a part of this group maybe by like friendship like this could be people either your friends or family members that were a part of some sort of group or you were a part of this group i feel like you're tied to these people okay red yeah root chakra so something about the root. These people could be in your family, all right? They could be doing roots on you. I'm also seeing something about uh if you put on a shirt. Some of you guys, okay, so it's like you guys could be putting on clothes. Like, and you know how like when you go back in your memories on like Facebook, like uh Snapchat and shit like that, and you're like wearing the same clothes or wearing the same shirt or some shit like that. I feel like you're gonna tie it together, like put two and two together when it comes to like some sort of piece of clothing that you maybe should not be wearing because some of you guys that piece of clothing is tied to someone else maybe someone else borrowed that shit and gave it back to you you need to fucking throw that shit out don't even like i mean, I mean you could give it back but no once you wear it and you're no longer friends with the person do not give that shirt back throw that shit out okay if somebody wore a, a piece of clothing item from you like and they gave it back to you just throw it out or let them keep it, right? Not let them keep it because, like, in general, you shouldn't let people borrow your clothes, okay? That's something that you should definitely not ever do. I don't care if they're your sister, your brother, your mother, just not. Don't ever do it, okay? I've learned my lesson plenty of times with that shit. Um, but, you know, the more you learn, okay, with the pay, the, the this is the Son of Coins, which is the Page of Pentacles. This is a student. The more that you learn, the more that you will understand. Like, the more that you learn spiritually, the more you understand why it's important that you wear your own clothes and nobody wears your clothes, especially people that you cannot trust. All right, period, point blank. Or you, or you find to be... Tr yeah, 333, three, three, three. do you find to be not trustworthy? Wow, two of sticks came out again, though. Why is it both the same energy here? So you're definitely making a decision based off of something that you learned that is new. Based off of some new information. Could be based off of a reading... All right, or you could be reading your own energy, mother of coins. This could be based off of someone that um, this person could be a bad investment or somebody is realizing that they made a bad investment into a, a this could be a, a, a bad mother. This could be someone that's like unfit mother. Some of you guys, you could be cutting ties to your own mother because they didn't um, they didn't do a very good job raising you, helping you. This person has been taking from you. OK, this person could be bad luck. Nine of coins. This person could be codependent, all right? If this isn't, like, your mother, this is a baby mama or a grandmother or some shit like that, okay? Yeah, somebody here could be very lonely as well. Um, maybe they have a cat or, like, they have, like, this cat lady energy. This person could be married, but they still lonely, like, you know? This person is doing magic. Black Herman. This is a this is the magician in this deck. This person is doing magic. They're a magician. All right. Tell me what else. Daughter of knives. You could be this person's daughter. Okay. So this person is trying. Okay. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. 
Son of Knives. This person is spying on you. They're sending spirits to spy on you. Because you see this person? This person is outside of someone's house stalking them. This person could be sending people to stalk you. But I feel like they're also spiritually stalking you. This could be a bunch of people also like tugging on your energy. Trying to see what you're doing, where you're at. A bunch of people could be getting readings on you. A bunch of different people could be getting readings on you. Wind chimes could be significant. Like somebody could have used to um, vacation at a house or you used to go to your grandma's house and they had wind chimes. Wind chimes. Or like that spinning wheel, the wheel that turns when the wind blows. Something about the wind, when the wind blows. Isn't that like a movie or something? When the wind blows or something. That's something, I don't know. Look that up, I'm gonna look it up after. Okay, so. Somebody's a mason here. Somebody's a mason. The Hierophant, Four Sticks, Five of Knives. Okay, so there's a couple here, a married couple, all right? Or two people that are supposed to be married. I see, okay, so I see two people here. Okay, it's different for everybody, but... There's there's a couple that could be buried next to each other or or with each other. They could be buried with each other and I see two people visiting them. They're elders. Okay, so you could be visiting your grandparents or you could be inclined to. Um I also see that two people are going to be um gathered together. What do they say? What do they say when they marry people? two people? Two people are gathered today under god yeah somebody here is about to be gathered okay they must be gathered but they're they're initiated here into this marriage this marriage is uh protected and ordained by god but also this ancestor here is elder this could be god too because the hierophant is god okay so this is definitely god so this marriage is definitely um ordained so some of you guys you could be getting married yeah you could be actively doing this but this could be a secret or you're being strategic about this okay or you need to. Yeah, some, some hmm. think about this. Wow, the emperor. All right, so the emperor, son of Vasquez. Wow, the emperor could be secretly admiring you. All right, if this isn't an actual marriage, this is like a commitment, right? Yeah, the, this person, okay. So there's a Capricorn here, a Virgo, a Libra, a Taurus. Wow, the emperor and the empress came out okay so this emperor is secretly admiring this empress this person could be in hermit mode or you are in hermit mode and they're secretly admiring you four coins wow eight of coins okay so somebody is in hermit mode and they're working this could be a prediction so i feel like somebody here you could be away from everybody some of you guys you could be on vacation or you're just not talking to people okay you could be pampering yourself, a lot of self-care, a lot of self-love, okay? You're working on yourself, mother of coins. You're working on your money, okay? Yeah, you're manifesting, okay? Wow, this could be the future. Yeah, I feel like you're going to, you're going to, um, your your palms are going to start itching. You could be very lucky. Some of you guys, maybe you could win a scratch off or like win the lottery or some shit, okay? Yeah, you're going to have some sort of lucky streak, okay? Wow, yeah, abundance ace of baskets so there's going to be some sort of um less opportunity that comes towards you what's this um okay three of sticks yeah in the future three of sticks so in the near future there's some sort of blessed opportunity that's coming towards you and this could have to do with your emperor or a business okay so you're being initiated here yeah so something in a re that you heard in a reading is going to come true period point blank the garden wow so i feel like um there's people that exiled you all right so somebody could have been talking shit about you they could have been exiling you they could have been saying shit like oh you're a witch or you're evil and shit like that right you were being initiated okay so this um this is like some sort of like humiliation like you could have went through a humiliation let me hear something about a humiliation ritual okay um 
not done by you like somebody else is doing a humiliation ritual on you like their their initiation is to humiliate you but they don't understand that that's also your spiritual initiation from your ancestors to go through this humiliation but you're gonna come out on top and this person's gonna get karma okay you're gonna grow from this period so yeah i'm saying something about a sacrifice this is a sacrifice here all right what's the garden seven of baskets i don't know why i don't use this deck more um wow confusion somebody is trying to cause confusion i feel like on your character all right this could be yeah somebody's talking shit they're talking shit on your, about your character all right this could be another reader all right if you are a reader if not this is like um someone's getting readings all right on you someone's getting readings on you is talking shit about you but they're also like i feel like they're getting readings on you to like see how they can why are they getting readings bro they're getting readings but they're talking shit about you but they know that you're you're um you're abundant as fuck like they know so tell me about this person that's getting readings yeah they they hide in something here okay Ten of knives is in reverse. Ten of knives in reverse. What? Mother of baskets. This person seen in a reading that you are healing from something. Okay, or you are you are healing. Tell me about this mother of baskets here. Baskets in reverse. Three of knives. Oh. All right. So if this has to do with a relationship. One more card. So this has to do with a relationship. Yeah. Somebody was trying to block someone else from seeing the truth. So they were getting readings to see what someone else was going to figure out. This king of um, baskets in reverse. Okay. Somebody was trying to get like do something to where some you love someone. They know you love this person. They know you're healing from a betrayal. Okay? Because they're stalking you. All right? This fell out right on top of the the son of knives. So they're stalking you. Know that you love someone and you're healing from a, a betrayal here. They're getting readings so that they could lie, okay? On you so that they could betray you and stab you in the front or in the back, whatever. All right? Um let me get these cards on the floor. Wow. Exactly. So they're trying to get this person to be indecisive about you, to not show you love, to not love you. They want this person not to love you. Seven of coins in reverse. It's not working. It's not working. Okay, four of four of wands in reverse. Okay. She just gets four. Son of sticks. Somebody was trying to put a hex on you. I put a spell on you, and now you're mine. That's what they were trying to do. I put a spell on you. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Yeah, Paul. They was doing this to, um, this is an older man, all right? Or this man is older. For some of you guys, um, this could have been, this could have been somebody's dad. Somebody's dad or somebody's son. Same shit, same difference. So there's an older man here and then there's a young boy here. All right, but somebody hexed a home. Somebody hexed a home. What's this? Uh, paw and some sticks. Paw and some. The tower. All right, so there's a family dynamic that's breaking up between a father and a son because this... Um, Wow, so somebody could have realized that their father is hexing them in their relationship. And they want this person to move away from someone that actually loves them for someone that is a hoe, which is the mother of sticks. And now this, this could be because, I don't know, maybe they're jealous. Maybe they don't have someone that actually loves them. Someone that's, This is someone that's very psychic, empathic. 
very loving, um, caring, okay? This is equivalent to the Queen of Cups. This is a sweetheart. This is someone that reaches out and always asks you, like, what do you need? Do you need help with anything? Um, I'm here to help you, shit like that. Um, in low vibration, she could be very emotionally manipulative, but this is not the case because the ten is the ten of knives is in reverse. There could also be here this person that the one that was getting readings, the one that's getting readings done on this divine masculine. Okay, um, they are trying to come across as you as this mother of basses so they're gonna come in and try to heal a situation they betrayed this person before though so this person that betrayed you divine masculine this person is gonna come in with um some sort of helping hand they're gonna pretend okay they want to heal this situation but it's only because they want to block you from your other person they don't want you to see something here this is someone that's blind spiritually this is the meaning of this card spiritually blind not able to see not no foresight okay no seeing beyond what is in the physical, all right? Somebody could tell you one thing. Somebody could type it out, print it out, whatever. Um, create evidence, fake evidence, fake news. But what's really going on, you know what I'm saying? It's not going to be on that paper. That's like you hire somebody, right? Based on their resume, they come in. They're lazy, slob. They don't fucking know what they're doing. You know, anybody could type something up, right? Anybody could tell you like, oh yeah, I want to work. I don't want to help you. This could be a work situation. Like somebody could be trying to uh, manipulate someone in regards to work. I don't know why I'm getting that. Like somebody, because that's what I was saying, like with resume and stuff. Somebody's trying to manipulate someone to work with them. But it's the purpose is to stop someone from being in a relationship. Because I feel like if they work with this person, it's like going to block them somehow. I don't know. Maybe this is like a financial obligation thing or something. I don't know. Yeah, they, they okay. So there's a father figure that wants this person to move away. All right, it could be physically. They they want this person to move away, um, but they want this person to move away mentally from this Queen of Cups. So that they could go towards a Mother of Sticks and have this person in the third party. This Mother of Sticks could be somebody's friend too. All right, something about the Mother of Sticks. Tell me about the mother of sticks, father of knives. Somebody is trying to get you to cut this person off, okay? Father of knives. That's somebody that's fed up with somebody, you don't want to be with someone. They're very short. Could be a Libra, short tempered, like short with their words. Like they say, they say something, and that's it. Like eight of sticks in reverse. They don't want you to communicate. This could be also like somebody does not want to communicate with you. They don't want to heal the situation. They're moving away f from whoever this is. All right. So whoever this is that's getting readings, trying to manipulate a situation, trying to trying to lie on someone. I feel like they're trying to keep track of someone really like bad. Like they're trying to keep track of someone They're so that like. This is like someone trying to call someone or trying to be in somebody's ear, trying to be around someone so that they don't communicate with someone else. This is like literally that. <laughs> like, so whoever is a fiend ass bitch <laughs> or nigga, this is who that is. Okay. There's another female here. Tell me about this mother of six. Seven of knives. Yeah, there's a female here. Um, eight and knives. This person is very sneaky. They're sneaking. They could be cooking some sort of food or they could be a kitchen witch. Somebody here is, they could be smoking and cooking right now. Like somebody likes to smoke and cook or some shit like that. But they're very dissatisfied. Now somebody here, um, they could have their natural hair out right now or something. Somebody has their natural hair out. Somebody switches their hair a lot. Something about hair. I don't know why I just heard I come alive in the nighttime. I come alive in the nighttime. Somebody doing something at night. So somebody's very spoiled. They're dissatisfied with something. And they feel trapped. All right. They want, uh, they're, they're having sleepless nights. Who is this having sleepless nights? 
put five of baskets. Father is six. This person is trying to confuse you. They're trying to make it seem like somebody is 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 this person and somebody else is like somebody. They're trying to make it seem like this person is them. And the person that you're in love with is that person. So like this is a karmic trying to switch places with a divine feminine or a divine masculine. They're trying to switch. So they're trying to come off as a divine feminine when really they're a divine um I mean, they're a fucking karmic. Shit, they could be a divine karmic. They're a fucking karmic, though. Somebody's in karmic energy. Somebody is, like, trying to mirror somebody else. They want this person to be, like, coming off as, like, sneaky, spoiled, trapped, having sleepless nights, in regret. They could be, be wanting you to regret being with someone, all right? Um... And in the same sense, they're going to also come in like, oh, I'm going to give you a helping hand or I'm going to or I'm compassionate or you could talk to me about your problems because they don't want you to communicate with this other person about your problems, which you should always be co communicating about your problems to the direct person that you have a problem with, never to somebody else. Right. So this is what somebody's doing. Three of baskets. This is a competition, some sort of competition here. Three of baskets, seven of sticks, courting, daughter of sticks, four of nines, two of baskets. Somebody's trying to compete for some sort of spot. It has to do with ten of pentacles here, two of cups. So this is definitely a, a relationship, mother of knives. There's a mother of knives in, in the midst of this. This could be a, someone that you're divorcing from. I see that... Um, Somebody's being very competitive. I see that someone here is throwing something. They're throwing something while somebody sleep. They're in competition for a courtship, a marriage. They want someone to court them. But this person that they're that they want to court them is being very defensive towards them instead. So they're trying to like make it so that you're defensive or you're uh coming off like you don't want this person so that they could get them to run to them like this is like some real fucking like weirdo shit like you're a weirdo you're doing three much to get somebody to notice you bitch three much the fuck this is like really some pick me ass bitch i'm not even gonna hold you like this is some real pick me shit So someone's trying to stop you from making an offer to someone else, a divine masculine. They're trying to stop a divine masculine from making an offer to this divine feminine here so that they can get the offer by default. Like, this is like by default. Like, so they know that if they like get you out of here or whatever, or get you to leave, because I really feel like this is you leaving. Because I feel this is like you all of a sudden you're becoming fed up, you're you're tired. You're, uh, tr you feel like you're trapped in a situation. They're manipulating your energy. Now, all right, let's get some other shit here. They're manipulating your energy so that you can feel this way. Like, you feel like it's like, uh... The answers you need are coming. Full moon in Gemini. Can't make it up. Can't make it up if I want. Full moon is in motherfucking Gemini. Okay. Work through your fears. Someone's trying to get you to be trapped in your fears because that's what the Nine of Wands is about. I mean, Nine of uh, Swords is about. So somebody wants you to be trapped in your fears. So they want you to fear like, oh, this relationship can't move forward. There's too much pain, shit like that. Because somebody knows that you're healing from whatever this person did do to you in the past or whatever y'all did to each other, okay? um, They know that you're healing. So they want, so it's saying here, work through your fears. New moon in Scorpio. So something with the new moon, you could be working through your fears. I also feel like somebody wants you to not work. All right. They're doing something so that you can not work or not work with this person. If this is a job situation, it's the same thing. So this person doesn't want you to work with this person. They're trying to get the offer themselves so that they could work with this person. 
work through your fears, okay? A new romantic cycle begins. Surrender to the divine. Can I make it up? It just sums everything up. Can I ever make it up? A new romantic cycle. Surrender to the divine. So they was trying to... If the divine is telling you to surrender, you surrender. Surrender your feelings, those, those emotions. Surrender that shit. Emotions are running high with the full moon. Some of you guys could be on your cycle too. So it's amplifying everything. Like if your cycle is on a full moon, that shit is amplifying everything. But something finna happen. Um, I'm gonna have to do a part two. Don't let your past hold you back. Believe in the impossible. Take the time to breathe out. Prosperity lies ahead. Hold your vision. A win-win outcome is in forecast. What else can I fucking say, bro? Communication is key. So some of you guys, this person was trying to stop. Yeah, they was trying to make it so you guys have fights. Communication is key. So they want you to have misunderstandings in your communication so that you guys will fight. Look at the bigger picture. Okay? A win-win outcome is your forecast. Hold your vision period prosperity nothing but prosperity you just gotta take some time to breathe out okay and have faith don't let this person hold you back period and this is definitely a swim flame situation all right this could definitely be like some princess diary shit like this is like you you thinking you're not good enough or this person thinking they're not good enough for you okay because of what their background where they come from all right um, somebody is hidden in plain sight as well. Horse. Somebody could be traveling. Because I just saw a horse. But I also see house. So somebody could be traveling to someone's house. H-A. Somebody could be like a home health aide. Okay. Um, Apple. I also see like there's a protection over someone's house. Apple. Apples are used for protection. Bees. Wow. Wow. Definitely dealing with um, an empress energy, okay? Bear. A lot of protection. So this could be your spirit animals. Okay, like I said, someone here is traveling. Zipper. Let's see what, uh, where is this mix? We got B twice, H, H, A. Yeah, we got home health aid. Okay. We got Zay. Somebody's name could be Zay. Okay. Um, B, A, Bay. Somebody, somebody calls you Bay. Or B, A, Y. Somebody could live in the Bay or some shit. We got X and we got Ray, so. All right, y'all. I'll be back. I'll probably put a part two out, okay? Love you guys. Mwah.